guys, it's me, Traveler Tiff. We are here today at, yes, Krispy Kreme. Why, you ask? It's just a typical donut. But no, we are here because I'm wearing green. Give you a little hint. We're gonna try the St. Patrick's Day donuts. So follow me. Super excited to go try them today. Day, I got super excited when I heard about the St. Patrick's Day donuts from Krispy Kreme. So this is a little bit uh, vantage for everybody because you too probably have a Krispy Kreme in your hometown that you can go and get these. They expire though on St. Patrick's Day. So if you're not there in the drive-thru by 12 o'clock, you are out of luck. They are gone, but you have got to try them. I know that means that you're getting up early for some of you out there, but it is going to be worth it. I'm super excited. All right, I can't wait to dig in and try. Let's see which one's going to be my favorite today. All right, so let's go ahead and try the original with a little bit of gold and green sprinkles. First bite, best bite. I have to give this probably a five. Nothing special. It looks pretty, but just a regular original donut. Okay, that donut wasn't the best, so let's hope they get better. They look, they sure look really good, so let's hope they get better. Let's try this one. I do love my chocolate, and it just has some sprinkles on it. Doesn't look like anything super extra nor, extra nor, <laughs> extraordinary, but we'll try it. The chocolate does make it better. I'd give this a seven. This is a solid donut. And it's fresh, which makes all the difference. Has a little chocolate um, frosting on it and then it has little uh, sprinkles. And I am a sucker for my sprinkles and garnishes. So love it, seven. All right, the next donut that we're about to try, look at this, how pretty that is has little gold pearls, it has the rainbow on it. It just makes me feel like St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and I'm wearing a green shirt, so that probably helps too. But look how fat it is. It means that there is going to be a filling in the donut. I'm excited, but I always get a little nervous too because I'm not sure what it's gonna be. But as you watched my last uh, cupcake videos, you know I love a good filling. So let's get into it. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I will have to give this donut a nine. So you have got to get this donut at Krispy Kreme before they run out. All right, so I did love that marshmallow cream donut, but we are gonna now try the little leprechaun hat. Look at this. Ooh, has a little leprechaun, has a little chocolate frosting on it, some green icing. I don't know if there's gonna be anything in the middle. It's not as fat as the other one, but let's try it. I mean, nothing special again. I think it's almost like the last donut or that we tried earlier that had the chocolate with the sprinkles. I think it's just for aesthetics and looks, which it is pretty, but again, I'd give it a five. All right, you guys, I think I saved the best for last. I'm super excited about trying this Oreo donut. Not just any Oreo though, this is the golden Oreo. So, I'm super excited to try it. Let's get into it. Look at this. Look at all the Oreo topping. It's got a vanilla frosting. You saw the thickness of it, which you know what that means. There's a filling in there. Let's try it. Oh, oh yeah. Save the best for last. This is definitely, I'd give this a 9.5. This is really good. Light and fluffy. But what I love about it is just all the little Oreo cookies on top and they're just breaking off. You gotta get this one, this is good. All right, so I tried five of the donuts today that were really good. So don't forget, if you wanna try those special St. Patrick's Day donuts, you've gotta get here before 
12 o'clock on St. Patrick's Day or you're going to be out of luck. Wah, wah, wah. You definitely don't want to miss them. But if five donuts wasn't enough, I just heard that on St. Patrick's Day, they're going to make their original glaze green. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. So don't forget, if you like this channel, to like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your enemies. I don't care. I need subscribers. I'm at 27 right now, and my goal is to get to 50 by the end of the week. So help me help you to try more food because you never know what's going to go in my mouth next and what I'm going to try. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.